Good morning, Judge Redis. You are watching Economic News, prepared for you by InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. Throughout Tuesday, the US dollar was declining against the other major currencies ahead of significant macroeconomic releases from the United States. Traders were still absorbing the speech of Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher, who stated the reasons why the Federal Reserve should not tighten its monetary policy soon. He listed several factors such as low labor productivity, weak economic prospects and unstable external background that includes a global economic slowdown and fallen investments. However, by the end of the trading day, the US dollar index edged higher on the back of the strong US data. The greenback touched the daily high above 97.90 and later corrected to 97.87 levels. Currency strategists had expected the US dollar to rise against its major rivals amid the US inflation data that affects trading sentiment much. The consumer price index reflects the US economic health, thus hinting at the prospects of the funds rate. The September reading boosted market confidence in the readiness of the US economy for rate hike by the end of the current year. The U.S. Department of Labor reported that the consumer price index advanced by 1.5 percent in annual terms after a rise of 1.1 percent. The September mark was the highest since October 2014. On a monthly basis, consumer prices increased by 0.3 percent in comparison with the rise of 0.2 percent in August. The co-indicator excluding food and energy prices edged by 0.1 percent last month after the growth of 0.3% in August. The annual terms co-consumer prices climbed by 2.2%. Inflation rate accelerated in September, mainly due to the 2.9% jump in energy prices. Anyway, traders are sure that there will be no monetary tightening at the November meeting, but the Fed's stance is expected to be more hawkish, thus supporting the US dollar against its major opponents. You have watched financial news on InstaForex TV channel. See you later.